is Merry Christmas. So I'm sorry for your voice, but anyways, I'm showing you National Blast military locations. She made know I sent a post that I'm soon going to be showing my military. Although they're out doing stuff as an issue, but we're going to show you each location. You may have noticed the Plastic Army Legend there, the different colors. You may already see some. But you may be questioning, why is there a lot of colors? Why is there a lot of colors on the map? It's because each military... Because each military has their own location where they've been set. Yeah, sorry for the long up, not long upload as well. I've been watching YouTube for a while. But anyways, let's start off. Um, first off, um, one of my militaries that I own is the National Plastic Military. Our full, my military's full name is called the National Plastic Military of the USA. And it's obviously clear why we are the National Plastic Military of the USA, because we are directly in the United States. Not to um, forget, but you may see, you saw a lot, you, you guys saw a lot of black, right? I'll explain that later, but here we are. We have Alaska too. But yeah, that's us. Now, one of our greatest enemies, who's been causing us an issue this whole year, the Mexican Plastic Army, which is at the top of Plastic Armies. Right here, they have been bullying us and the allies with the cars for this whole year. Can you believe it? Next off, the smallest place where I think national plastic militaries have broken the limits, the Dominican Republic. Let me show you the full map, and you'll see how small it is. Look! You see that tiny speck of tan? That's the Dominican plastic military. Right there. Next one is far across us, but is another ally with us. And that is the Japanese plastic military. Yeah, we're allies with us. Why we're allies with them? Because they have been supplying us this whole year. The third of our military have bought a few of soldiers. I got a few soldiers. I started off a military, a natural plastic military. Got a few soldiers. Um, they came with stealth, bo stealth bombers. Uh, oh. I'm pretty sure we got. I'm pretty sure we got two of them, and I'm pretty sure they contained two stealth bombers, and each of them. But right now, in my military, called the National Plastic Air Force, and you obviously can tell, but it's an Air Force containing of um, plastic airplanes, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another one of the stealth bombers. In my pl National Plastic Air Force, they are called the Blackbirds. And they've been supplying us this whole year. Once they noticed us as a new military, they've been giving us a lot of stuff. They made an ad somehow in English telling them to join this new military. They gave us aircraft and now they're giving us the Navy. They're starting a Navy. And he's moving on. We're going, we're staying in the European area and moving on to. The German Plastic Army. German Plastic Army is one of the... Here's a fun, fun fact. My military, the National Plastic Military of the USA, and the German Plastic Army, we had our first 
battle, not in Germany, but in my room, upstairs in my room. Our first battle was there, so we fought the first battle. Next off, my military, but we already talked about that. Oh, fun fact about my military, we are the strongest military out of all these other militaries. The next one, it's South America, a copy one that's not plastic soldiers, but rubber, the light green plastic army. So you might, um, um, no. Those toy, sol those toy soldiers in Toy Story, the movie. They're in some of them, I'm pretty sure, yeah. But yeah, they are somehow here. I'll show you, um... And yeah, there is a lot of um, there's a lot of militaries in the, um, a lot of plastic militaries in the United States. Two new ones, to be exact. Um, the Mexican Plastic Army was a, re was a new one. They just hired more soldiers and we're in an ongoing war with them. The Continental Army, they are red soldiers, but a lighter red. And the old Arizonans, they're brown soldiers. So I'll also show you some United States militaries as well. But anyways, you can see in South America, there's light green plastic army. They're rubber soldiers. But anyways, here we are going to explain. You may have already read the plastic army's legend. And seen that black is no plastic military. The colors... All the places in the world that are black, they have no military. Right here, for instance, as we tell Russia, China, Australia, Pakistan, Iran, Pakistan, India, a lot of those countries there have no military. There's a port in the middle of the Mexican Plastic Army and the light green Plastic Army. They don't have a military. Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, and Tobago. They don't have a military. Canada doesn't have a military. Greenland doesn't have a military as well. Um... But yeah, one more question to ask you is: you, if your is your scout elf already here at your house? Because mine is here, here already. But yeah, this is just to show you what's going on here. Anyways, bye. Oh, hold on. I think something, my mind is telling me that I need to explain a few more things. I am, this video is too short. Hmm. Yeah, there's only... So here are some cool factors over two black militaries that are in the European countries, everything else. And the other military is in the North and South America and on the islands. So in total there are six militaries. But two of them are historicals. So that leads up to eight militaries. Uh, the two historical militaries, the Continental Army, is, which was in the United States, and the old Arizona's a plastic military, those brown soldiers in the also in the United States. Those uh, were allies with. So yeah. Anyway, 
guys. Bye.